Hey, what is going on everybody? This is Eric here with another Lost Production and today I want to go over how to stream from your PS4 without a capture card to OBS. Now, I know you know it's very it's very common and very easy to stream on your PS4 uh, without a capture card. All you got to do is hit the share button and go to broadcast. But what if you want overlays? What if you want gifts? What if you want donations and the everything to dance and do all the stuff, but you don't have a capture card? This video is going to explain how to do that. So first things first, you're going to want to go to Google and you're going to want to go to PlayStation Remote Play. All right. You go to the PlayStation Remote Play and you'll download the one that is to your respective system, whether it's Windows or Mac, depending on your OS. So, once you download that, which we already downloaded, it checks for your updates and it pulls it in. Now, what you're going to want to make sure is, first off, let me go to a window here, or let me add my let me add my camera in here. It's a little early, but we'll we'll go ahead and add my camera in here, just so I can show you what I'm talking about. All right, so. We'll just put me down here. So what you're going to want to have is a USB cord that charges your PS4 controller. You're going to want that plugged into your controller. And you're going to want that plugged into the computer. So once that's plugged into your PC, uh, you'll go back to this window. And it says, enjoy using the PC even when you're not there. Blah, 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 blah. So you're going to want to make sure to hit the option button on the controller to start. Or you can just hit the start button like this. So it starts for your nearby PS4. There's two ways to do this. There is option one where you can um, go to your options and you go down to your remote play and you say add a device and it gives you some numbers. It gives you, I think, eight digits and it's random every time. And you put those eight digits into your um, PS4 play setting things. Anyways, but this way works too if they're on the same network. Uh, you're going to want to make sure they're on the same network. You don't want your PS4 on this router and your lap, you, want, you don't want your desktop on like the 5 gigahertz network or on a separate network, uh, whether it's an extender or something like that. It just, I mean, you can do it. It's still doable, but this way you get the least amount of latency. And I think I'm getting kind of an echo. We'll just go ahead and mute my... Uh, Oh no, okay, I'm not, good. So anyways, um, here we go. So uh, whatever game you're going to want to play and stream, I had Paladins open for earlier, but my other video did not record. It's so sad. Anyways, so now uh, I showed you how to add a, a webcam if you want a webcam. Not everybody wants webcams. And that's fine. Or you don't have a webcam. If you have a laptop, it automatically has a webcam in there. Some people just have some webcams, uh, you know, whether they use Skype or whatever. But a webcam is not needed. What we're here for is overlays. Isn't that right? So here we go. How to add overlays. Uh, well, first off, you're like, where's the game? Right now I'm using Display Capture. So what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Window Capture. And you're going to want to hit that Window Capture. And you're going to want to, and right now it says remote OS KB or whatever. You're going to want to scroll down to you see PS4 remote play. And it'll go in that itty bitty screen. And you're just going to stretch that out to kabam. And there you go. And now everybody can see your, your video game. So now how to add overlays though. Well, that's easy. First things first. You want alert boxes. You want you want Gur to dance for you when somebody subs or donates. You want to show everybody's name. Boom. Well, there's everybody's name. But wait, I want an overlay. You know, I want I want stuff on the screen. Well, all right. Well, then you're gonna want to go to image, and we're going to set up. I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time breathing today. I've already used my inhaler, so if you hear me gasping for air or anything, don't panic. It's just normal. So anyways, uh, let's go down to, I think it's in documents. I think I still have an overlay stream. 
Yeah, here we go. I got my PUBG one. That'll work. I've I stopped using overlays just because sometimes I just don't want to use them. But here we go. There's that overlay. So then we have to take that donation ticker and put it down here. And you're going to want to move that to the front so it's here. And then you have to go to transformation. And you have to edit the transformation. Then you have to edit the size. And that's basically you just keep editing uh, until you get down to the size you want or need for your overlay. And that's the problem. It starts looking a little distorted until you have to start stretching things out and getting to where it goes. It takes a second to play with, uh, but uh, once you start getting it, it'll, it'll start working. But anyways, it, it, it literally takes probably like five or so minutes to set up. So, But we are just going to uh, reset that transformation. I don't... You, we can we can battle with that on your own time, but you can do all of this stuff here. You can make your overlay. You're gonna want you to make your overlay in a uh, either Photoshop or something like that. There is a free program, and if we look back here at my screen, let's go back to where my display capture is at. We'll put this back on top for a second. There is a disp there is a program called GIMP. This GIMP is completely free, and it is a free Photoshop, and that's where I make my overlays, my thumbnails, and everything else. So, going back to this now, so now you've got your game, and you're going to need a computer. Uh, there's just no way around it without a capture card. You're going to need a computer to capture the window. Second thing, you're going to need the USB cord to plug into your computer. Third thing, you're going to want good upload speed now I'm not saying you need 15 20 upload speed you can do this at 5 you can do this at 6 upload speed you're not gonna be able to stream at 1080p but you can still stream at 720p which I mean a lot of, that's all the PlayStation out broadcast without a capture card anyway so I mean you can do 1080p on the newer systems but if you don't have a newer system then it's only gonna do 720p which is fine. I mean, it's it's still good quality. So what you're going to want to do is go to your output, change this. This is 1080p, 60 frame rates a second. You can make it at 3,500. You can make it 3,000, which I think is what Twitch standards is. And basically, you go to your settings. You go to your uh, you go to your stream, and you'll select what services you want to stream to. Mine's YouTube, and you'll get your stream key, which is there on the live portion of it. You don't share your stream key. Do not share your stream key. No, 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 no. So, once you put that in there, bam. All right. Everything's got a cue today, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'm not actually trying to play or anything. I'm just showing. And then you would hit that uh, start streaming. I can't because I'm recording uh, this so I can show you all everything. But that is how you stream with overlays and everything else without a capture card. All of this is without a capture card. This is with capture card. This is without capture card. With capture card, without capture card. So it's pretty cool uh, that you can, that you're able to do this, but you have to download PS4 remote play. That's, that's just, that's gotta, you gotta have that. And this window's gotta stay open. If you minimize it, that's fine. Or you can leave it open, but you have to have a, a, Decent laptop or desktop, and you have to have pretty decent internet. You can't do this with like a two upload. You have to have at least a three or a four. Have to. Otherwise, you're, it's going to look choppy. It's going to look laggy, and you're going to have some issues. It, I'm not saying it can't be done, but you're not going to be streaming at 720. You're going to be streaming at 540. So, or 420 or 330 or something at that standard. Uh, like I said, I apologize for having some slightly breathing issues. Apparently, I'm just not intaking air or something. I don't know. Anyways, thank y'all so much. I do apologize for the the gasping for air periodically throughout the video. But I really wanted to get this video out here. I really want to show because a lot of people have been asking me. Uh, you know, it's like, oh, how do I how do I stream? Uh, how do I stream to 
the OBS and all that stuff. So that's how that's done. And thank y'all so much for tuning in. And if y'all have any questions, feel free to ask on uh, the comment section down below. You can also get a hold of me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, any of the social media sites, which is what well, you'll find all down below in the description. Other than that, that will do it for today. I stream every day from Tuesday to Sunday, 7 p.m. Central. We do two shows. We do both on Xbox and on PlayStation. Other than that, I am Eric with another Lost Production. I hope everybody has a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and Godspeed.